Hey guys, I'm Rogan Studios, and today we are doing another tutorial on our platformer tutorial or tutorial series. Uh, this is not the physics one. This is the regular game maker, uh, self-programmed physics one. And now, before I start, I just want to say two things. One, I apologize for my inactivity on the channel, uh, trying to make videos while going to school and while trying to make a game, which I am trying to do, uh, is very stress relieving, or stress not relieving, very stressful, so I decided to stop making videos for a while because I have to focus on at least two things, or two of the things. And the second part is all my assets that I will be showing you today in terms of art these are my personal assets, so the tiles and the characters are my assets, and uh, I am using them for a specific game that I will probably show off at some point. Uh, but for that reason, I will not be sharing these tiles, so please don't ask, because if you do ask, I, I probably won't respond, or I will just tell you the same thing that I just did. So anyways, let's start. This tutorial will be on platforming AI. Basically what we're gonna do is uh, is kind of like a Goomba type uh, enemy which basically you know walks back and forth. If it hits a, a ledge it'll turn around and start walking the other direction. If it hits a wall it'll do the same thing. Uh, but anyways let's get started. So right here in our sprites folder we have these enemies enemies folder and we have this one sprite which is called SPR square head run. So I did update the assets from our previous tutorial. So this is basically what we're dealing with now. I updated it over to the 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 physics side so it looks like the physics tutorial series even though we're not using the physics. Uh, so if you are a bit confused, you might want to watch the two or I think three other tutorials on the platforming which I will probably link to in the description. But anyways, let's get started. So I've already went ahead and created uh, actually no, let's create an object let's call it obj underscore square head that's it. Now let's give him his uh, sprite and we can close out of him for now and what we're going to do is create a script. So let's create a group in our script folder. Let's call it AI for artificial intelligence. And let's create a script inside that folder. And let's call it script underscore square head AI. And we'll just comment this so it's easier for us to see. Square head AI. Now, as I said, what we're going to do is create an AI for our enemy here. We're basically, he'll start walking this way, hit the ledge, and we'll start walking back, hit the ledge, start walking back. And we'll go ahead and place him there. And we're going to start our script. So, our enemy will be facing two directions, right and left. So first we want to address the right direction. So if direction equals right, and we'll set this variable in our object later. If direction equals right, then we want to execute this. If place underscore free x comma y and place underscore meeting x comma y comma obj underscore solid and what this does is it checks for well first it checks which direction we're facing and our player will be default defaulted to look right. Then it'll check if there is a place free 
if there's free space in front of our player. In this instance, we want to check uh, two pixels in front of the player, or the enemy, my bad. Uh, two pixels, so we'll do plus x plus 2, because we're going to be moving two pixels at a time. And place underscore meeting x comma y comma obj solid. And what that does, so we go ahead and set this to x plus 2, and then y plus 1. What this will do is essentially check if there is a solid block in front of the player, so or the enemy. So it'll stop the enemy from walking off a ledge, for example. And if both of these are true, then we want to execute this, which will be h speed equals 2. So this sets his horizontal speed to 2, so he moves 2 pixels at a time per set, or per step. And image underscore x scale equals negative 1. Or sorry, 1. And this will just save us time for so that we don't have to draw another sprite of him walking left. And we can go ahead and copy this, paste it here, and change all of this so it accommodates the left side. So direction equals left instead of right. X minus 2. X minus 2. We can leave Y plus 1. H speed equals negative 2. And image E underscore X scale equals negative 1. We can go ahead and close out of that. And let's open up our enemy here. Let's add a create event. And here we're going to set our direction variable. Direction equals right. And we want it to be right because he's facing right at the moment in our room. And let's go ahead and set our image speed so the sprite doesn't go super fast. Image speed equals 0 0.5. That sounds good. Let's open up our step event, drag in some code, and we're just going to run our enemy AI. So script underscore square head AI. And let's comment this out. AI. Okay. So now, since we've already placed our enemy in our room, we'll go ahead and run the code. And why is he doing that? Oh yeah, I forgot. So the problem there was that we weren't actually setting it to turn around. So let's go ahead and do that. So right under the the second if statement, we're gonna put a else statement right here, and say if none if one of these isn't true, then we'll do this direction equals left so we'll change direction and just for safe just for safety we'll do h speed equals zero we can go and copy this right here paste it there change it to right and yeah so now we should have it in order let's go ahead and run it Make sure it works. Yeah. So as you can see, he is uh, walking up to a ledge and turning around. Now, if you can tell, he's kind of walking a bit off the ledge. And to stop that, all we have to do is increase this number right here. So it's instead of x plus 2, we're going to try and do something else. So let's see. So our enemy's width is 16, and his origin is at 8. So 16 minus 8 equals 8. So let's go ahead and change that to x plus 8 instead of 2. And right here, we'll do x minus 8. And we're going to run this. There we go. So now he's not walking off a ledge a little bit, and he's actually staying on there. And let's go ahead and put an enemy up here so we can see uh, what that looks like whenever he runs into a wall. Yep, 
Yep, so he collides with the wall, perfectly fine. And everything seems to be in check. So let's go ahead and run over the script again, so I can explain it again. Uh, so here, if direction equals right, and there's free space to the right of him, and in front of him, if there's a solid block, then we'll set his H speed to 2 and his image X scale to 1. So we'll face right and start moving right. If one of these isn't true, then we'll change the direction so he starts to go left and reset his H speed. And the check left part will do the same thing, just opposite. So that's all for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you guys have a suggestion for a tutorial, let me know. And I will try and my best anyways to, to try and accommodate for that. Uh, thank you guys again, and goodbye.